Hello guys, Danny is Britannia here and welcome from the beautiful city of Chernivtsi, Western Ukraine. So what is today's plan? Today's plan is to take a walk up and down this beautiful main street of Chernivtsi and I'm going to show you some of my favourite places to get food, coffee, beer and also watch football because today is obviously the World Cup. I know this place, this street now like the back of my hand. We don't have a kitchen in our hotel and even if we did we don't have electricity most of the time so cooking's off of the cards so yeah we eat out on this street quite a lot it's very very reasonably priced and also i can say the standards and the quality of the food is super super high also the coffee as well it's a fantastic city for coffee part of the old austro-hungarian empire so it's got the kind of austrian coffee house cafe influence so yeah let's go guys i'll show you my favorite street show you my favorite places worst thing about having blackouts guys is having no coffee oh well, maybe not the worst but one of the worst So yeah guys, as you can see here, we also don't have any electricity, but one of the fantastic things about our situation, well, the situation obviously isn't fantastic, but one of the good things about our situation is we live literally just off the main street, and on the main street there's probably 50 or 60 cafes, restaurants, bars, and it's, um, it's very rare that they all have a blackout at the same time. So within like 100 meters, we can normally almost always find somewhere open, somewhere with electricity, somewhere warm and cozy and also a lot of the uh, businesses now have generators which is obviously very useful so uh, you can always go there charge the laptop charge the phone if we don't have electricity which is uh, a godsend to be honest because you know a lot of friends who live in the districts they don't have anything nearby and they're really struggling so our first part of call is this place here it's a place called Kartuseka but unfortunately it's on the generator today so I don't know how likely it is us getting food <laughs> See what we've got in here guys, it's um, as you can see no electricity but um, it's still working and the kitchen's still working like I say I'm adapting even music it's good And yeah, this place, guys, is one of my favourite places in Sherevsi. They have fantastic pizzas, good coffee, good wine, and it's also very reasonably priced too. So the place is called Kartateka. The Kartateka is basically like a... Before the internet, before we had computers, we used to store documents in these little boxes, like up here. And you can see... Yep. <coughs> Got a uh, cheese cream soup. You can see here, kartotyka. This guys is actually one of the easiest words to learn, I think, in Ukrainian, because all of the letters are the exact same as in English, except from the P, which is an R. So it's a very good word to start your Cyrillic alphabet learning. Kartotyka. Not so hard, guys. Give it a go. Fantastic. So creamy and so cheesy at the same time. In a good way, of course, I know that sometimes you can have too cheesy. Mm. Some nuts in there too. Now pumpkin seeds. Mm. Very good bit of pepper. Fresh clear. You can see we've got candles over here now. Add to the ambience. Oh, holy. Literally, as we speak, we've got electricity now, so I can show you the, the beauty of the place. Literally as we speak. Yeah, can you please ask pizza with crusher and syrup? Okay, pizza is very good. Let's see if it's a pizza with pizza. It's a pizza with pizza. It's a big shame guys, so I was going to go for the pizza there. 
but um, a very good pizza with pear and with gorgonzola cheese. Yeah, it sounds a weird combination, but it just works beautifully. You've got the cheese and you've got the pear together. Uh, yin and yang on a pizza. But unfortunately, it's such a long time to wait today and it's getting dark soon, so. Yeah, one thing you, you find, guys, about lots of Ukrainian places is you have a huge menu of drinks. Also, one cool thing is when you come into this place, they stamp the menu. This guy's came to 144 grivna, which is a bit more than three pound. And we had two soups for that place. We normally do order more, but the kitchen's just getting back up working again after the blackout, and we don't really want to wait 45 minutes for the pizza. Very cool wall design here. Another place now. In the boardroom. Uh, this is like a kind of jungle boardroom and the idea of this table is a co-working space which is taken off recently, especially because of the blackouts. And a co-working space means like anybody can come and just work here as they wish. Something these days quite popular. Quite often you get these menus. I don't know if it's the case in other places or if it's just here, but you get a menu which you scan, the QR code, tut menu, it says, and then you get the menu on your phone and you can check the menu like that. I'm not a massive fan of this old school. I still prefer to have the old paper menu. <laughs> In Ukraine, you can always get a good, cheap coffee. Something in England which is very hard to find. I mean, good coffee, yeah, cheap coffee. I don't know what happened, like Witherspoons with the unlimited cup for £1.25. You're not finding too much, unfortunately. So we've got a pizza here, guys, and it's called Hell Yes. That's the name of the pizza. Let me try it, guys. You know what I'm gonna say. Hell yeah. Cringe. But that's not bad, quite spicy, good. So guys, just here chilling with my hipster dish. Got some chicken, like a kind of yogurt sauce, a bit of an Indian style. We've got hummus, this hummus is beautiful. And it's got like an Indian kind of vibe to it, very good. Oh, what's down with my filter coffee? Good more. I'd say anybody planning on coming to this city, Cherepsi. I'd say be prepared to go on a massive diet either before or after because yeah you can really eat so well in the city which is a good thing of course but uh, yeah probably not good for the old waistline Thank you Donuts. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. But so are yours, plastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this is literally how easy it is to get so fat in Cherepsi. So we've just came out of this place here. And the next place is just 20 meters down here. Okay guys, so we're now in central Cherepsi again. And we're going to go to another place. I'll let you go and get a beautiful cup of coffee. And a nice chocolate. So this guy is here, is the place we're going to. Called Vivska Masternaya Chocolado, which basically translates to the Lviv Masters of Chocolate. And it's, they do a beautiful little pot of chocolate, which we're gonna try now. Let's go. Yeah, we actually have had one of these in Kharkiv and I think it's still working. Obviously on a bit of a, a uh, touch and go regime. So yeah, we have these in most big Ukrainian cities. I'd say almost every oblast um, capital has one. Obviously it's from Lviv. So in Lviv they have the, the biggest ones and the best ones. 
I remember we were there the other year and we tried it. Beautiful coffee, beautiful chocolate. But it's basically the exact same coffee no matter where you go in Ukraine. Let's give it a go here in Chernivtsi. This guy's here, this is what it's all about. I tell you what guys, this is literally the tastiest thing you've ever tried in your life. This combination of this exact chocolate and this coffee, oh my god. So you get a bit of chocolate, got all three colours, the dark chocolate, the milk chocolate and the brown chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate on the same spoon. Then, mm. and a bit of coffee at the same time, so you have the melted chocolate in your mouth. All three types of chocolate melted in your mouth. And a bit of coffee to wash it down. Oh my god, it is literally the best. I think it's the best kind of dessert coffee experience I've ever had. And we come in here quite a bit. As you can tell, it is such a, a beautiful combination, a match made in heaven, this chocolate and the coffee. So if you find yourself in Ukraine, guys, most big cities, even in Kharkiv, even in the east, they have them. Um, get this cup of melted chocolate, it is unbelievable with the coffee. Ivan. And yeah, we can see tonight that we've got light on the main street. Yeah, all last week we didn't have any light on the main street. But yeah, this week there seems to be a bit of an improvement in the situation and yeah, now we have street light. Yeah, this city is really fantastic if you're looking for somewhere just to chill out for a few days, eat very well, drink very well and chill out in a pretty nice all the world European city. It's definitely the place to go. Got a rocking horse here. Ah, we're too good, right? Yeah. Fantastic, this is our block of flats over here and I can see that these flats here have light Which means that the whole block must have light and our hotel is just Next door down this street here. So we live just on there We've Got a nice little cafe here called the Grand Cafe. It's a little Austrian cafe Supermarket just here yeah, a Very convenient location Where we're staying. Oh, it's bloody Baltic tonight. So we're going out to watch a bit of the World Cup in this place, if they're showing it, we'll see. It's called Baklajan, which means eggplant. So watching a bit of football now, I found a cool place called Baklajan. It's actually my local, I come in here quite a bit watching football. And yeah, this is so Ukraine. 
there's literally nobody in this place at all. So as we can see, there's uh, nobody. In England, often places can be hard pushed to get stuff and you go into a packed pub on a Saturday. Like now, for example, six on a Saturday, pubs are rammed and you have like two people behind the bar, maybe a hundred people in the pub. In Ukraine, it's the absolute opposite. So there's literally nobody in here at all. So five people working, a couple of uh, waitresses, a cleaner still, a couple of barmen and yeah the place is dead so i think that's why service in ukraine is so good and so fast well that depends on the city quite a lot how fast it is but generally in charity service is very fast and it's because yeah there's no staff shortage at all um always plenty of staff no matter where you go not like in england where you can go there you can have like one person two people behind the bar they're also the cleaners, they also can work in the kitchen, they also have to wipe the tables and take the glasses. Um, plenty of staff always in Ukrainian places, which is one massive bonus. And also one other thing, I don't want to film in there because it's, I suppose I could, it's nothing like that. But uh, toilets are always immaculate in Ukraine. If you go, especially on like the main streets or these kind of places we've been going today, toilets are always immaculate there's somebody going in every 20 minutes after almost everybody cleaning um, yeah that's one thing I've noticed about Ukraine and also one thing in England on a Saturday like Saturday evening Saturday night you would not want to go to the toilet imagine you going to go into a pub at six o'clock on a Saturday all you're gonna find in the toilet probably empty bags um, and God knows what else so yeah one extra plus about Ukraine. Also one. Oh, oh I've got a blackout power cut, what a shame. Oh, what bad luck. So literally, as I was saying, I've just got my beer. As I was just speaking in the camera, football literally just turned on. I'm gonna black out now. So I think we're gonna have to drink and go somewhere else, unfortunately. Welcome to Ukraine in 2022. А вы знаете, сколько сейчас часов будет без света? Скорее всего, где-то 3-4 часа. О, понятно. Дякую. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be like, what, 3 or 4 hours now without any light. And we can see they're prepared for this, so they've just literally... This lady just came over. Brought over a couple of candles, bless her. So yeah, it's a common situation. They probably work in this regime like half of the time now. Um, I can maybe get football on my phone if the internet's working. Reality in Ukraine in 2022. If I was just coming in for a drink, then you know it's actually quite nice just having a candle lit pint. Uh, but obviously football turning off like that. She warned us when we came in. She said potentially there could be blackout soon, and we took the chance. So you know you've got to take that off with the smooth. Watching the World Cup in Ukraine in 2022. Luckily, there's still internet, so I can get it on my phone. So, oh, not bad. 2 0 to Holland. Oh, what a haircut. Definitely American. Romantic date for one. Me and my football and a candle. So, yeah, had our third blackout today. We can see the places still stay open like this. The Vienna Cafe, they've got candles and yeah, very loud generator. And there's one down here too, it's a sound you fast get used to in Cherepsi these days. Very cool place down here. A bit like a kind of Spanish style, or like Italian style, I'd say. Little door there, <laughs> a tiny door. I can imagine how good it would be over Christmas time when all of this lights lit up, when at the end of this street you've got a massive Christmas market, huge Christmas tree, loads of stalls all around the city. I'd say this is the moment due to the blackout is Chernivsi on a Saturday night on a 6 out of 10. Imagine this place on a 10 out of 10. Anyway, 
I was going to go to one more place, but because of the blackout, I'm going to call it a day. There's the game on at nine tonight. Australia, Argentina. I might find myself popping out for that, depending on the electricity. And I'm looking now, actually, at our hotel. And by the looks of things, we're still in a blackout, unfortunately. As we can see, this is our balcony just up here. Second floor. And yeah, it's all black. It's quite unusual how we've got street lights, but we don't have lights in the flat. It doesn't normally happen, they normally go all together. There's a schedule, like four hours on, four hours off. So this must just be our unlucky four hours. But you know what guys, you get used to it. And... No, oh, you can't even see me. Yeah, you know what guys, you get used to it. And yeah, sometimes it's even quite productive. Sometimes it forces you to get out the flat. A bit where it's normally, it's cold, you can just stay, stay at home most of the day. So yeah, sometimes it actually does force you to kind of get out and do something with your life, the power cuts. So yeah, it's that's all for today. Unless I go a bit later. It's been a pleasure showing you my favourite places. And I hope now you can see what a cool city Chernivtsi is. In my opinion, Chernivtsi is one of the most underrated cities in Europe, definitely in Ukraine. Anyway guys, peace out. Bye for now. If you've enjoyed this video, please slap a like. I'm trying to think what the other YouTubers say. Uh, slap a like, subscribe, add a comment, even hate, I don't care. Do your best. And yeah, ciao for now guys. Still